welcome to the Shelly Studio and today I, well, I've had this footage for quite a while. Melissa with 70 Acre Studio, um, I don't remember if it was for her birthday or a challenge. Anyway, she challenged everybody to um, create chickens and then send them to her. I lost track of this card that I made. And so, of course, I didn't send it to her. And I've just been saving the footage until I found it again. Um, so that I could take pictures of them. So you can have some pictures at the end. Um, anyway, so I never did send it to her. I did eventually find my little chickens. <laughs> and I've never really, you know, never really tried to draw a chicken. Um, I copied this from uh, like I googled instructions and they had instructions on how to do like a cartoony sort of chicken so that's what I'm creating following the guidelines and this pen that I'm using you know I I really need to mark them so that I know which ones will react with water and which ones don't because I forget because I get them in art snacks and I, f I forget which type they are, and I should put them in different containers. That'd be really smart. That's a plan. Okay, so this one is water reactive, so as I'm adding watercolor, it does kind of smear, but I actually don't mind the effect too much. Um, I'm using Schmincke watercolors and a water barrel brush. Um, these, these watercolors I got um, when I was on vacation in Europe. I actually ran into a art supply store and they had two left. This one and one that was broken. <laughs> and uh, I, I haven't tried to buy them in the States, but I heard they were kind of expensive there. And they were having a sell, so I feel pretty good. I can't remember how much they cost me now, but I felt pretty good at the time. Alright, so you can see how the black is bleeding a little bit into it, but I think it's okay. And it is my first attempt, real attempt at chickens anyways. <laughs> Trying to lift that up. Ugh, just go for a paper towel. There we go. Soak it up. Just making them all kinds of interesting colors. I get a little heavy with the water. Can't help myself. I decide to attempt to use a yellow um, oh what kind of marker is that pit pen I believe um, so that it doesn't smear the black again and gets the beak and the legs really yellow I'm just putting in some sky almost be a boy and the other a girl almost huh this time I decided to do the sky first I don't think it really matters considering that I did um, I did draw the chicken on there but that pen that bleeds and I'm using a super small brush I decided I'd raise the horizon a little bit on this side 
just to make it different from the other one. I don't know why I have my watercolors on the right hand side and I'm a left handed painter, but it feels weird to have the watercolor on the left side. Maybe it's because I'm watercoloring in such a small space, I don't really have the space for it. But that's just one of my oddities, I guess. I'm sure everybody has some weird habit <laughs> for something. <laughs> I probably have more than just having my paint on the wrong side of the desk. Because <laughs> I probably would prevent a lot of drippage if it was on the same side as my hand. But I was thinking that chicken was looking a little too red, so blotted it off, got rid of some of that excess ink. It has been drying for a while, so it's just water reactive. There we go. Oh, hot mess. There we go. Try to keep it light. Again with the brush pen, paint pen, fabric pastel. Now here I decide to ink around the edges. Just because it just feels more finished when there's ink around the edges. Gives it a nice little frame. So here's the magnet add. Um, you know, they give you those and you can stick them on your fridge and have their phone number readily at hand and that's just a f fingernail buff. I've used it a lot, it doesn't sand much. And we're going to glue those on and hopefully they will stick. I'm trying to remember if I even tested to see if they would stick to each other. I know they do, but I should test that, I think. Because magnets of the same polarity resist each other. All right, so I weighted them down, and here's a couple of pictures of the little chickens. <laughs> so I hope you liked that. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And there it is on a book. <laughs> Thanks for watching.